the players because you will improve your chances of winning by attracting the best and you attract the best by paying amongst the best and and of course we want some of that money also to go to paying the staff that works for the clubs well but so we'll take a few questions because I know uh, Wallace wants to show me and the president of FIFA some of the beautiful work that he's doing in Tanzania and I want to wish Simba I was told that uh, in in uh, in Tanzania there there's a there's a the Simba and there's there's Yanga and I must always say I love both of them which I do and I love every other club because my job is my duty is to every single club in Africa so we'll go and see the good work that uh, Wallace is doing with the support he's been receiving from the FIFA Forward initiative which is exciting we'll take a few questions the best of luck for all of those clubs every single one of them we wish you them all of the best and next year we're going to start off with 24 of the very best the highest ranked uh, the most successful and the most popular football clubs on the African continent and we've always known a globally competitive African football league contributes immensely to a globally competitive African national team to a globally competitive net uh, AFCON and to making sure that f African football in its totality is is world-class and globally competitive okay let's take questions meeting with the president I left South Africa two o'clock in the morning and I went straight to Dodoma to meet the president amazing I met uh, the president of Tanzania in Davos at the World Economic Forum and uh, we had uh, we were supposed to spend 30 minutes we spent a, a long time I'm excited and one of the reasons why I wanted to talk to is about the AFCON I mean you know we've made history and thanks to the excellent leadership that our brothers and sisters here we've made history because we are bringing back the AFCON to East Africa after 51 years the last time AFCON was in, Af in East Africa was 51 years and the issue about all our competitions whether it's African Football League whether it's the AFCON whether it's the Champions League we want stadiums that are at the level of FIFA and CAF quality stadium quality pitches as I said uh, Pierluigi's presence here incredible quality coaches uh, as well as VAR so what I wanted to engage with her today was of course to tell about the African Football League but also to tell her Madam President I mean you know uh, history is being made in East Africa the, the most the biggest national team competition is coming back to East Africa for the first time in 51 years now it requires partnerships because Veron is going back to Cote d'Ivoire uh, the excitement in Cote d'Ivoire for next year immense your players will be playing <laughs> carrying the flag of the DRC in and various others so we need those stadiums to be world-class uh, we need a generators to be functioning and to be tested we need to make sure the hospitals and the infrastructure and the pitches for training world-class so it's an excellent question and I'm I'm so happy that the president said I just I just want to give you Patrice I just want to give you all the confidence that we're gonna to work together we're going to invest and we're gonna make sure that that it is amongst the very best FCONs ever